The child support belongs to the children, not to the parties. Your parenting time and your child support obligations are two separate things, and they're not okay. based on the other. So whether you're exercising parenting time or not does not affect your obligation to pay child support. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at the original petition for divorce, and it doesn't specifically ask to address child support. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, it was filed by Mr. Smith, and uh, he he didn't address it in that. And then I don't think the answer of Ms. Uh, Smith addressed it either. So that's where I'm kind of having the part where with it not being addressed, is there any way that we could still talk about child support in the past? Well, and like I said, you, that's what you need to yeah. look at. I mean, the child support belongs to the children, not to the parties. Correct. So you have to look at the law under the child support. If, if there's an obligation owed, there's an obligation owed regarding the children. But going forward with child support on this, Your Honor, there is still a kid that is under the age of 18 but i think he's 17 at this point 17 or 16 so he's there is junior. yeah i was gonna say he's close to 18 i think he's 17 or 18 now or froze or what oh, there we go. Well, i'm looking at the pleadings there's a pro se answer filed by l smith that'd be Lori smith your honor that'd be my client she Back sure. on July 7th of 22, saying, I am a single parent and have not received any support from Mr. Smith. That is why. And working on getting an attorney and trying to get information from legal aid. So she at least mentions support in her answer. Back on July 7th of 2022, Mr. Combs, you entered your appearance on August 22nd of 22. Correct. And then Ms. Harper entered her appearance in May of 24. So, oh, Ms. Harper. Judge, I think even if we're still looking at the effective date of the support, we should at least be able to get started getting the DRAs and child support worksheets worked out and on file. Now, we can come back at a later hearing. And, you know, if Mr. Smith has an attorney, he and Mr. Combs can debate the effective date. That could be presented to the court, but I'd like to at least get it started with getting the necessary paperwork. Parties need to get their financial information to Ms. Harper so she can calculate what, if any, child support would be due and owing at this time, and then we can figure out the effective start date. And Mr. Combs, I'll give you some time to present that information to the court in just a short letter brief as to your thoughts. And then Mr. Uh, Smith will be given a chance to respond to that, and we'll set a future hearing to determine when the start date of the support obligation is, but we still need the financial information to Ms. Harper to calculate the what the appropriate amount of support is, if any, and then we'll figure out the start date. So, Mr. Smith, you need to work with Ms. Harper to get your financial information to her. When we're done with this hearing, I'll step off. You stay on with Ms. Harper, and she'll talk to you about what you need to send her, okay? All right. Um, I'm going to have a problem with that because she hasn't allowed me to go and get my things that I used to work with. So I'm having a rough time finding a job up here, down in, in Lubbock, Texas. Okay, well, any information you think is relevant, you can talk to Ms. Harper about. Okay. Okay, I will deal with that at the appropriate time. Right now, we're just needing the financial information and okay. any circumstances surrounding your employment give to Ms. Harper. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. Mr. Combs, can you get all the financial information from Ms. Smith? Yes, Your Honor, I can do that. That needs to be gotten to Ms. Harper sooner rather than later. Yep, I've been in contact with Ms. Smith now that I don't think we'll have problems getting that to her. Okay. Judge, if it's okay yes. with Mr. Combs, we could just send the packet out to the party so that they can fill out all their financial information and attach any pay information to that. That yeah. way we have something we could also submit to the court so that Mr. Combs knows what Mr. Smith is saying very clearly. 
Now, I'll let the three of you discuss that when I jump off, okay? Okay, Judge. So, Jess, when I jump off, don't immediately terminate the, the Zoom hearing. Okay, and Judge, are you wanting to set another court date? We do. Tell us how long do you need to get the court that letter brief? Um, Your Honor, if you give me 30 to 60 days, I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's go 30 days. And then Mr. Smith, as far as a response to that. Uh, what was the question? I couldn't, I didn't, I thought you were talking just to him. Mr. Combs is going to send the court a letter brief re regarding the issue of uh, when child support should have started in this matter. Okay. He's going to submit to that to the court by September 21st, and you'll need to respond to that. Okay. Okay. So can you respond by three weeks after that? Yes, sir. Which would be October 14th. And that's to when uh, child support should start? Yes. Any issues regarding child support that you want to brief for the court, submit that by October 14th as to when it should start. Uh, and then we'll set a hearing and, and discuss this. Okay. So yes, we're going to need a hearing somewhere about that uh, third or fourth week in October. Will this be uh, by Zoom again, Judge? Yes, unless the parties want it in person. I would very much prefer Zoom. I'm good with Zoom, Your Honor. Mr. Smith, are you okay, okay with it remaining as a Zoom hearing? Yes, I'm clear down in Lubbock, Texas. <laughs> Eight-hour trip. Zoom is probably... No, I'm the vehicle right now. Yeah, Zoom would be much preferable then. Yes, sir. So what can you find for us, Jess? Um, would October 22nd in the afternoon work for everyone? No. I'm in Sumner County that entire afternoon. Do you have a uh, time in that morning? Could we do it at 30 that morning? Would that work for everyone on the 22nd? Yeah, it will for now. That'll work for me too, Jessica. Yes, works for me. October 22nd at 10.30. Yes, Judge. Y'all send the papers out on that or... Okay. Yeah, I'll jump off. You talk with Miss Harper, and she'll get all the necessary contact information for you and Miss Smith to get you the packet that you need to fill out and return to her. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Is there anything else before I jump off that we need to address, Mr. Combs? No, Your Honor. Miss Harper. Yes, sir. Mr. Smith. The only thing I need to know is like. Y'all send the paper out for the Zoom meeting, right? Because I believe I've missed a meeting or two, and it's due to the fact that I haven't got the paperwork. Uh, maybe y'all haven't had my address or anything. When I jump off, my assistant will also make sure she has a good email for you to make yes, sure sir. you're getting this notification. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Smith? Um, not that I can think of offhand. Okay, I'll jump off. You you all stay on and circulate your information among each other. And then Miss Harper will give you instructions, Mr. Smith, on the packet that's coming your way. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, as far as a journal entry of this hearing, I'm going to let Mr. Combs take a run at this one. And did you get those dates, Mr. Combs? Yep, I got 30 days to do a letter brief, so I rough estimated that by, it'd be the 21st of September, but... September 21st, response October 14th, and the Zoom hearing October 22nd at 10.30. Yes, Your Honor. But the 21st is a Saturday, so I'll have it done by the 20th. Okay. Thank you all.